This kid's reaction is killing me. <laughs> you told me I should buy the Cybertruck, so today let's take our first look at it and decide. I'm in the market for a new truck. I'm giving away my Ranger. Apparently I'm the only person who thinks the Ranger is one of the coolest trucks ever made because nobody's entering my giveaway. It's the lowest entries I've ever had. So it'll probably be my last giveaway. It's wrapping up. So if you'd like to win my truck with a Pro SS in the bed, I've linked my giveaway down below. But today we're checking out what could be the replacement to my truck, the all new Tesla Cybertruck. I want to give a massive thank you to Lunacycle for lending me Lunacycle's brand new Cybertruck. They just wrapped it. It looks almost like the stainless steel that these come in, but with no fingerprints. And it's got a really subtle pearlescence that comes out the most in, in the sunlight. This truck looks so much better in person than in any of the pictures I've seen. It's a little bit smaller than I was expecting. It's exactly the size of a Ford F-150, but the presence the presence is massive. That's why I've quadruple parked right here, claiming my territory. Biggest windshield ever in a production vehicle with the biggest windshield wiper ever in a production vehicle. It looks outrageous, but it, I don't know, the whole truck's outrageous, but it pulls it off really well. Let's look at some things that are interesting here. For example, these wheels, I think they look really cool. They did come with aerodynamic covers that apparently have already been recalled after only a couple weeks so that's why the covers off I think it looks better without it but it will get a little bit less range like that the bed of the truck this is the most important part open it up this cover can withstand 300 pounds on uh, one foot they said I can give it a try so that's impressive I would feel confident leaving maybe a bike on its side in here. It's pretty safe. There's also another bit of storage in here. The rear wheels turn on this truck, so I've got it already demonstrating. If you've got the wheels turning, the front wheels turning that way, the Cybertruck will turn the rear wheels like that. So according to everyone I've spoken to that's driven this truck, it feels exactly like a car as opposed to a truck. I have not driven this yet. I literally got dropped off with two bikes and a cyber truck. So when I get in this truck, it'll be my first time. This is the fastest cyber truck. It's the dual motor foundation series. The three motor cyber beast is about to come out. And when it does, that will be the fastest, most powerful cyber truck. But as this sits, it gets 315 miles of range. And soon they'll be sending out extended battery packs that do 450 miles of range, which is really impressive for an electric truck. I don't think any of the other electric trucks can really compete with that right now. There's not a single Tesla logo anywhere. It doesn't even say Cybertruck. And uh, I, don't th I don't think they did that because they don't need to. They don't need to put a logo anywhere. Everyone knows exactly what this is. What do you think? <laughs> now considering getting a truck for myself, the most important thing for me is how does it haul bikes? Now I know there's one feature on here that is just perfect for bikes, which I'll show first. Oh no. It's so windy up here. Look at that. Two house style outlets at 120 volts and then a third 240 volt outlet. This is exciting. If you had an, the appropriate adapter, you could charge your Suron super fast out of that. Let's, let's test this out. I'm gonna charge my 72 volt Chai battery out of this outlet. This is crazy. You can just plug your charger into your truck. The bed is not too high off the ground. This truck's actually kind of low, but I'm gonna talk about that in a second. This one of the coolest features relates to that. Let's make sure this thing's on first. And there's no handles here. You open it by touching there and then you can grab. This is the only logoing on the whole truck. It's on the inside. There we go, the charger's alive. This is so cool. We're charging out of the cyber truck. So Suron with 16 inch wheels fits my Ford Ranger six foot bed perfectly. So wait, no way. Oh, wait, that's tight. That is pretty disappointing for me. So I'm realizing the, the bed is six foot from here but then there's plastic that slopes forward, which means the front wheel is pushed back and you just don't fit. 
Let's load up the Arad Pro SS next to the Suron. Okay, that looks badass. Is this the first Cybertruck with two Rons in the back, even though one's in your Pro? But no, both of these stick out. Look at that. That's so fucking cool. I'm charging two bikes out of this truck. I could be in the middle of the desert and just charge up. Well, as long as I have somewhere to charge the truck, I guess. I got the straps out and I'm realizing because the bed slopes up like this, you can't reach the strap point down there like you could on a normal truck. It's too high up, so I gotta strap it from the inside. I feel like I have more bed space on my Ranger. Oh, I just strapped myself in here. Okay, we got two bikes strapped up and charging. This is so cool for me. The number of times I could have used an outlet in the bed of my truck, not to mention two, is crazy. Let's go, that's not bad. Let's check out the interior here, starting in the back. The door opens all the way up to a 90 degree angle. These seats fold up, just like most trucks. You can put so much stuff back there. That's super appealing to me. Let's check this out. Nothing crazy, I mean, Teslas have the most minimal interior of any car. The interior is definitely underwhelming compared to the uh, exterior. In my opinion, it should be the other way around. I feel like the inside should be the nicest part and the outside should be, you know, a little low key, but the inside's still very nice. Let me show you my favorite feature here. You go here to ride height. Hi. Do you see it? Do you see it going up? So I just told it to increase the ride height and it's slowly lifting. It's kind of hard to show on camera because it, it goes slowly, but you absolutely notice the lift. The truck looks way more like a truck now. On a normal truck, if you want to lift it, you have to spend thousands of dollars. You have to get a wheel alignment. It ruins your mileage, but it looks cool, right? So on this truck, you can choose when it's lifted, maybe when you're in a parking lot or when you're off-roading or when you want to flex. But then when you're on the highway and you just want to get as many miles as possible, you lower the suspension, you get best of both worlds, and you can just control it on the screen. The seats are cool. I like the look of the seats. Got this subtle ambient lighting going on which you can change the color of let's make it red boom red ambient lighting you got sort of the yoke steering wheel but it still has the top on it which is uh, sort of a compromise between the two tesla designs and then just the coolest interface here if i close this door it'll show it there if i roll the window down it'll show it there entry is your lowest ride height and then I've got it set to high just to flex. I'm not gonna spend any time on the Tesla interface. There's like a million things you can do on here. You can watch Netflix, YouTube, search the internet, play games. You've seen it a million times. It's just the biggest screen you've ever seen in a Tesla. This is an 18 inch display and it just feels cool sitting here. It's like a flat screen TV. The front windshield is so big and it goes so far. I can't even get close to reaching the end of this area. It kind of feels like a waste of space, but it also makes the space feel very open. And the field of view is fantastic. I can see down way more than I would on like a normal truck where the hood would be up here. The sunroof is massive. It really opens up the space in here, but it's not continuous. There's sort of a roll cage and then it goes into this massive windshield. Got my directions on here. There's no shifter or columns. To go into drive, you just slide that forward. Here we go. This is my very first time driving the Cybertruck. Oh. Oh, something's sliding around back there. These chargers are gonna be a problem. Here we go. We're out. So I read about this. The full radius of the wheel is there. So that's the full turning extent of this truck is only not even 180 degree turn. So very sensitive steering wheel, which might be nice. Oh, let's see, I'm looking for a signal here, but the signals are this. I feel like it makes a big truck feel smaller when you barely have to turn the wheel, which it absolutely is the case. That, that's awesome. Now turn right onto Oregon Street. Whoa, 
Whoa, the turning is crazy. No way. Nobody's cooler than me on the road right now. I'm in a cyber truck with two bikes on the back. Wow, the the throttling on this truck is um, exactly what you would expect. It's super snappy. I've driven a Tesla before. I've driven a Model Y. This fucking thing is loud. It feels just like that. You you let off the gas and it, it regens for you, so you barely ever touch the brake. It's, you're just throttling. Here you can see all the other cars around you. That's so I love the display. I love the Tesla interface. Rear view is pretty good. It's just big and comfy in here. Big arm console. The steering is so sensitive. That's crazy how easy it turns. Oh my god, I want to drive like such an asshole in this. I want to cut everyone off. Whoa! This is a truck! drives just like the Model Y. If anything, this feels more powerful and faster than the Model Y, which is a much smaller, more aerodynamic car. Wow. The signals are gonna take a minute to get used to these buttons, but they are nice and clicky. I feel like I'm driving a big car, but I don't feel like I'm driving a truck. Trucks have a specific feel to them. Um, that uh this doesn't have this the handling in the steering as well as uh, on the throttle feels very much like a sporty suv than a truck from my experience the cyber trucks don't have autopilot which for me is one of the biggest selling points for teslas is that you don't have to drive but the cyber truck just doesn't have that yet personally i wouldn't want people driving around in autopilot cyber trucks these things are really dangerous if it hits you <laughs> they're made out of solid steel so i kind of like that people have to be like you know driving them the rear view mirror is actually comical how small it is and um for the most part you're never going to really be using that so i don't know why it's not doing it now that's a little scary but there should be a rear view camera image right here but i don't see it wow the, the you got to be so careful on the on the gas it's so sensitive same with the steering it feels like i'm driving like a ferrari i've never driven a ferrari but i feel like that's what it would feel like it's so nice filming a video and not being scared of the cops like what are you gonna do i'm driving i got a license this is street legal i'm wearing a helmet though which is a little weird i feel like there's just so much space in here like up here down here that's crazy that it can see the what color the light is off the line it feels so light this truck feels like it weighs nothing when you look at it it literally looks like a, like a anvil uh, it doesn't drive like an anvil it actually handles lighter than any car i've driven now that i think of it because the rear wheels are turning with you so you barely need to turn the steering wheel God, I don't want to be an asshole in this thing. Wow. Loud road noise. And, and I think it's, it's not because the aerodynamics or the tires. I think it's just because the truck itself is so quiet that you just hear everything. Oh. I would, I would get so many speeding tickets if I owned this. Are you kidding me? I'm going 75, barely touching the, the gas. And it feels like you're not doing anything. Suspension, super cushy. Ooh. That was a good brake test. Pretty good braking. I'm sure it regenerates into the battery. Even just sitting here at the red light is so peaceful. 
the truck's not making any noise, it's not vibrating. I don't have to have my foot on the brake to keep it still. That's unbelievable that that I just went that fast in the truck. The suspension is very, very comfortable. I feel like I'm driving a uh, like a Cadillac or a Escalade, something super cushy. The suspension just floats. But you can hear some road noise. It must be those 35 inch tires. Um, I believe they're all terrain and those tend to have more noise on the, on the concrete. This is weird for me making a video in a in a car. I've only ever made I'm just going to stop signaling. I don't even I don't like using these signals and people have to move out of my way anyway. I don't think you want to be the first cyber truck impounded for reckless driving, right? Is that a cop? <laughs> That'd be pretty crazy, huh? I'm making a car video. I can't ride like I normally do. I gotta actually follow the laws. I'm glad that wasn't a real cop, but he had the siren, so. I've got the helmet on. I'm in the bike zone. I need to get in the car zone. Please comment below if you wanna see more videos about electric cars and electric trucks because I'm having so much fun with this. It's my first time doing it, and uh, I wanna review all the electric cars now if you'd be interested. That's a different car. <laughs> yeah, isn't it? just cutting me off Sir? what's up yeah this pops the tailgate <laughs> yeah thanks it's not mine I'm just making a video on it <laughs> I wish it was mine this thing's badass what's the base on this thing? You know, I think they're going, I think this one is the dual motor. They're coming out with a single motor, which will be a little more affordable. But this is up there at like in the 80s. 80? Yeah. Okay. Which, I mean, low-key, like compared, a new F-150 gets up there easily. Lightning? Yeah. I was thinking about the Ford F-150. So I wanted a truck. I want a truck. Bad. I want a couple years, maybe a used one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What's your YouTube channel? It's Saronster. It's a red. That's me right there. Bang. I just parked it up here, testing out some of the third ability. That's badass. We're just leaving now. This kid's reaction is killing me. <laughs> That's hella funny, bro. Let me go over a couple things I like and a couple things I dislike about the Cybertruck. I really like the way it handles. It's fast, it's powerful, obviously, but the way that it turns is the selling point for me. The fact that the rear wheels turn and you get that radius makes a big truck feel small, and I really like that. I also really like that there's outlets in the bed. I really like all this infotainment technology, and I love that you can change the ride height on this truck depending on the circumstances. Those are all selling points for me. Now that being said, here are the three reasons I'm not buying the Tesla Cybertruck. Number one is it's $80,000. Number two is the bikes don't fit in the bed. You have to put them at an angle and that's a huge deal breaker for me. The only reason I need a truck is to fit e-bikes and if they don't fit in the bed, that's too bad. And the third reason I'm not buying the Tesla Cybertruck is because it is so cool and so new and so fancy and flashy that every single person that sees it wants to talk to you and take a picture and that was really fun today I really enjoyed that but 
on the daily that is just not practical for me i already have the bikes which draw a lot of attention that i usually don't need when i'm filming and uh, you add the truck to it it's just going to be impossible to do anything productive outside at least for the the current time in the near future i think there's two million tesla cyber trucks on order right now i don't think tesla will ever make two million of them at this rate but by the time there's two million on the street nobody's going to care about the cyber truck and then maybe i would consider it if they had a long bed that's my first impression review as always thank you so much for watching as I do. Yeah.